Happy New Year, everyone. I hope everyone had a nice holiday season. So today, I have some fresh strawberries. And you know that video that uh, trended or was circulating where someone was cleaning strawberries and like worms were coming out in the water? You've probably seen this. They add water, salt, they add the strawberries, and there's like a giant worm. Yeah, so we all know it's no secret that fruits and vegetables from the grocery store, you have to clean them. I typically soak them in cold water and vinegar but today i'm going to be testing out it looks like a blue pill you see it in those trending like kitchen gadget home videos where someone's sitting on the couch and like oh no i have to hurry up and clean my house and cook dinner and they're always throwing this little blue machine into like a sink or bowl of water with fresh fruits and vegetables and i'm always like what is that well, I have that today. It's to basically clean fruits and vegetables in water. I'm gonna see which method works. My old school water and vinegar or this machine. Here we go. So today I'm working with two containers of fresh strawberries. And you know, these instructions say keep refrigerated and rinse just before serving. Yeah, we know that's probably not the best way to kill bacteria or any germs or residue that's on fresh fruit from the grocery store. So what I like to do, I'll show you. I'll do the first one here. So cold water and it's going in the bowl. Ah, try not to make a mess here. And I'm going to add distilled white vinegar. Just give that a little mixy mix. And I typically like to let my fruits and vegetables from the store soak for at least, you know, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes even 30. So that's going to hang out. Now, here in this bowl, I'm going to add my strawberries. Okay. So here's the instructions. And so you want to make sure that you charge it first. It does come with this like charging base. I already charged mine. And while charging, the green light flashes. After charging, the green light is always on. Mine is always on, so it was fully charged. So you put the fruit and vegetables uh, into a sink or in water. And you wanna make sure the water temperature does not exceed 40 degrees Celsius, so you don't want it hot in hot water. Um, it's recommended not to exceed three liters of water. I'm using about uh, a liter and a half, well, probably like a liter of water is what I'm using. Here, turn the machine on, you will hear a beep sound and the light is on, so. Okay, that's on. So now, we're going to put it into the machine, or I mean the machine, you're gonna put it into the bowl, and then to get better results, please stir the fruit and vegetables occasionally. Occasionally, the electrolyzed water smells like disinfectant. Do not worry about it, it is not harmful. Good to know. After the clean work is done, there will be three beeps and all the indicator lights will go out. At this time, let it stand for five to 10 minutes. Okay, so going in, make sure it's submerged. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, it's doing stuff. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna let that run its course. Here's my little old school way of doing it with cold water and vinegar and just letting it soak. So we shall see, there we go. And I wanted to show you, this is the base that it comes in. This is the little charging station. And I have it hooked up to a plug right there, but yeah. So for those of you curious, this is what it looks like. So I am going to stir this once again. It did say that you kind of have to give it a mix and kind of move it around. So I'm gonna do that, but it's, it's moving, it's working and it doesn't make noise, but I see it like, you know, bubbling away. I don't know, this is cool. And for good measure, I'm going to stir my little vinegar water strawberries <laughs> and just move that around. There we go. So today I thought it was a great idea to test this kitchen gadget. And there are a lot of kitchen gadgets that I see trending that I'm always curious about. So I might make this like a weekly thing. I don't know. But comment down below if there are kitchen gadgets that you are curious about, and I might test them for you. I don't know. Um, I like to, to find new ways to do things in the kitchen. So I did not hear this beep, but I am gonna take it out. So I'm assuming it beeped. I was in another room. <laughs> 
but let that, I guess, I don't know. So I want to compare, I'm going to set that aside. So I do notice that this water does have kind of like a yellowy tinge to it compared to this water. I mean, that is a difference. Now to say which one's cleaner, I mean, fingers crossed that they're both clean. <laughs> but I do know that my method of vinegar and water works. I'm going to show you side by side. This bowl, this is the bowl that the little uh, vegetable electrolyzer machine was in. And you can see how compared to this one, which is a lot clearer, and let's look at the bottom of what's there. There's a lot of seeds and debris. You can see that this one has a dingier color. I don't know if that's good or bad. Did it clean it a lot better? Um, I mean, I hope so. They've been soaking in cold water for about 20 minutes. But that's the difference. This is the cold water and vinegar. And this is the little machine that I put, that I put in it. Um, um, so yeah, so this is the one with the machine that was in it and it does seem a little dingier compared to the vinegar. So there's that. Okay, so the way this machine is supposed to work, it's through electrolysis. It basically purifies the water and it helps to rid of pesticides, residue, harmful chemicals, debris, and you know, it sanitizes it. If you want to invest in this, I think it's a pretty cool investment. I like it. Uh, it definitely uh, is worth looking into. Do your own research. If it works the way it's supposed to, I'm just going to assume that this strawberry is a lot cleaner. I, I, I think it works, honestly. But if you're old school and you like the whole water vinegar rinse, it's three parts water to one part vinegar. I actually used a concentrated version of vinegar that I had in my pantry. It's a Korean concentrated uh, vinegar, but definitely follow the three parts water, one part vinegar rule to soak and rinse vegetables. That also is a great way to do that. So cheers. Mm. So I will link below the one that I used in this video. There's so many out there on the market to wash your fruits and vegetables. Choose the one you like if you want to give one a try. If not, stay old school. Water, vinegar, it works. <laughs> so I hope you found this video helpful. I might be making this a series. I might do this once a week or so. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if there are gadgets or things that you are curious about because I'm probably curious about them as well. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.